debate surrounding stem cell research, but one man who's benefited from it says his treatment is non-controversial and can be used to help cure dozens of life-threatening diseases. Sally McDonald is live in the Texas Medical Center with more tonight. Good evening to you, Sally. Well, hi there, Melissa. The treatment involves using stem cells from your newborn's umbilical cord, but many expectant moms don't have a clue about it. Uh, let's see. What Eric Drew is pushing 40, but he has the blood of a baby. Yes, I was one of the first adults in this country to survive a double umbilical cord blood stem cell transplant. In 2002, Drew was diagnosed with leukemia. By the following year, doctors had exhausted all efforts to find a bone marrow match. Uh, there was nothing else that could be done. They basically sent me home to die. And um, we're going to start arranging hospice care. And I just wouldn't accept that. Instead of drugs or radiation, Drew located what was at the time an experimental stem cell treatment that could save his life. So what do you see there, Joyce? The treatment involves preserving an infant's umbilical cord blood right after birth. Studies have shown umbilical cords are a rich source of stem cells that can be a suitable alternative to bone marrow. Cord blood stem cells from the umbilical cord blood of newborn babies is something that we are throwing away every day. Two years ago, the president signed a bill allowing cord blood stem cells to be used for cancer research. But Drew says people still have a hard time accepting the treatment, even though it's been billed as non-controversial. Because of the noise regarding the religious and legal issues with embryonic stem cell research, people have put stem cells into one category. Drew has made it his life's work to educate and encourage expectant moms to preserve their newborn's umbilical cord blood. He it says you like never know when you might need about. it to uh, save a family member yeah. or a stranger's yeah. life. And there's more to Eric Drew's story. He once had his identity stolen while he was in the hospital, which resulted in the first conviction under HIPAA, the Federal Patient Privacy Act. If you want to read more about Eric Drew and his treatment, you can log on to our website, myfoxhouston.com. We have a link on this story to his personal website. Reporting live from the Texas Medical Center, I'm Sally McDonald, Fox 26 News. Fox Red Storm Seeker, more powerful and accurate than any weather radar in the country. So advanced, the National Weather Service links with Fox Red. Seeker, only on Fox 26 News.